so moving on to the different uh, uh, side effect or the problems of the potential uh problems of the orthodontal treatment you see one of the common uh, consensus and the the uh, what are the common uh, side effect orthodontal treatment is the root is option root is option is pretty normal like you can see that the shortened uh, root like this you can have uh, around 1 to 2 mm uh, root is option is pretty normal with orthodontal treatment so the size of the root is being smaller we can talk about in full detail uh in the start of the treatment what you should be knowing that there are certain patient in which the root is they are more prone for the root option who have the previous episode of the orthodontic treatment who are having prepared or blunted roots the teeth which have uh, have um, suffered a previous episode of the dental trauma or the patient who has the habit of nail biting or with orthodontic treatment by using the excessive forces in treatment or prolonged treatment time you could have uh, difficulty or the issue of uh, root is option so we are just discussing what are the different uh, problem that can be caused by orthodontic treatment however the good news is that even with the severe root is option there are less susceptibility and the chances of the loss of the tooth by the even even by the severe root is option second is the loss of the periodontal support you see with orthodontic treatment uh, if you have treating a moderate or severe crowding on a non extraction basis there is a possibility that you could we have the concept of the alveolar housing the concept of the alveolar housing is something like this that uh, you could have the you could have some alveolar ridge for example if this is a lower dentition and this is symphysis you have the boundary of the cortical bone you have the lingual cortical cortical bone over here and you have the buccal cortical bone over here you see with the remodeling you see that the position of the bone does change i agree yes the position of the teeth changes but we certainly have the limitation of the cortical bone we cannot procline the teeth in a way that start touching the cortical bone on the lingual aspect is we're talking about the lower dentition and if we are proclining this too much forward with orthodontic treatment then there is a uh, issue the the tooth will start coming out of its alveolar housing how if the if this tooth is something like there in the start of the treatment then with the progressive treatment it would start proclining or it would come to this position if this would come to this position then this bone will be lost so this problem is called dehiscence if the this bone is being lost by the labial movement of the teeth then we will be creating some problem so with orthodontic treatment our objectives is to keep the dentition in their uh, uh, in their uh, proper position within the bone excessive proclination of the teeth would lead to the uh, increase in the clinical crown height will lead to the uh, proclinations and we need to the Uh, to the uh, periodontal problems because of the loss of the bone another issue with the periodontal uh, with the orthodontic treatment this is what you would be explaining to your patient when they are getting the treatment is the white spot region what is basically the white spot region <coughs> as i said in the start by the braces the natural cleansing or the natural uh, uh, cleanability by the cheeks and the tongue Would get would get severely impaired because of the fixed up braces appliance. The food get enlarged around the braces, and these entrapped food by the sticky food will start uh, developing caries. And the initial stages of the caries, in which they start demineralizing the subsurface of the enamel, is basically the, this is called the white spot region. Why this is called white spot region? Because the caries uh, uh, has change the mm -hmm. reflection of the enamel whatever you see basically the 
there is an outer layer of the enamel and there is an inner layer of the dentine we know okay when the light hit this enamel surface is refractory and this go uh, penetrate into the uh, enamel this get reflected from the dentine and is reflected out over here what happened with the white spot lesion you have changed the transparency of the enamel so whenever the light get hit on the surface of the enamel it could not get so much penetrated on the surface of the dentine and start coming uh, is scattering so uh, as i said in the start of the uh, uh, teaching our uh, coaching classes when i was teaching you orthodontic photography whatever we see with our eyes if it is not the light source it is all the reflection of light which our eyes sees so white spot lesion is basically the sub surface caries of the enamel because of the change refractory uh, uh, characteristics of the enamel okay so how you can prevent there are many method to prevent it a simple message is to keep a very good oral hygiene and a simple uh, uh, rationale is we should be careful in selecting of the patient because this orthodontic treatment is not for everyone it is not for everyone before the commencement of the treatment you have to have certain criteria for starting the treatment you cannot do the bonding on the uh, uh, the patient who is having the gingival problem for example i can see over the you can see the gingivitis on this dentition if you can see if you can see gingivitis on this dentition this mean the patient oral hygiene is not good and the reason for the plaque tension around the braces is because of the poor hygiene so you would be careful on the selection of the patient and you would be doing some um, careful then intraoral injuries intraoral injuries what is the intraoral soft tissue damages uh, with the braces the soft tissue damages could be in the form of the uh um the condition you can see over here there could be a plaque retention more susceptibility for the retention of the plaque and more susceptibility for the uh for the the gingival hyperplasia leading to the uh, inflammation and the problem you could have the issues of the pulpal injury how does the pulpal injury if you are using a a very heavy force this pulpal injury is pretty less common with the fixed appliances if the patient is under treatment by an experienced orthodontist he will not be applying but in the hands of the quacks or the unqualified uh, trainers and um, by the unqualified doctor there are possibility of the uh, pulpal damages because of the severe change in the position we may have uh, see the very tight labial bow that could lead to the severe movement of the uh, root apex leading to the leading to the problem of the uh, uh, leading to the problem of the uh, uh, necrosis of the pulp because of the oral we could have extra oral soft tissue extra oral damage by the orthodontic treatment could be a negative effect on the face by the uh, by the orthodontic treatment first of all i would like to talk about the uh, uh, have you seen the facebook group extraction cases reversal and with the patient discuss yeah. okay so yeah. any 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 damaging effect of orthodontic treatment you could have develop a retrusive profile and these are these are iatrogenic damages by the ill trained by the improper planning or by the extreme retraction of the uh, of the dentition you could have a very retrusive lips and by the retrusive lips you could have the uh, uh, very abnormal position of the lips by the change in the position of the dentition so uh, be very careful that orthodontic treatment is not uh, making your nose more prominent by the retraction of the lips is not affecting negatively affecting the face in a similar way there is a uh, injuries by the headgear appliances by the recoil injuries uh, by headgear and you could have allergies in you know the headgear we have the stainless steel out of if the patient, the patient uh, is nickel allergic then there is a possibility that this extra oral part of the, of this particular appliance that is called the facebook 
is touching to the skin and this may lead to the development of the allergic reaction however this area can be covered by the uh, by some uh, um, apply uh, by some plastic covering so it will stop the touching of the skin with the uh, stainless steel so it will be preventing the problem i have said cf i have said three possible damages one is the retraction excessive retraction of the dentition leading to the lots of retraction of the lips leading to a problem problematic profile secondly i said about the allergic reaction third i spoke about the recoil injuries that could be damaging for the dentition moving on the relapse what is relapse the return of the original features of the malocclusion one of the very very common uh, um, uh, negative and side effect of the orthodontic treatment is the relapse that you get the treatment and if there are some uh, growth changes or uh, by the the true relapse is actually the return of the original feature of the malocclusion by the gingival and elastic fibers or by the bone however there could be some uh, uh, soft tissue pressures by changing in the position of the bones or by some age changes that could lead to slight change in the position of the tooth and we also considered the age changing under the definition of the relapse as well because now the definition of the relapse is is, uh, is covering all both the changes. now the uh, definition of the relapse is the change any change in the position of the tooth after the orthodontic treatment okay so now uh we see the condition that after the orthodontic treatment if you see some uh, 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 some um, uh, return of the original feature of the malocclusion these are the different possible issues of orthodontic treatment another thing is that at the end of the treatment whatever the orthodontist or the operator is aiming for the desired result if if they are not getting the desired results so one of the features of the uh, uh, one of the probable possible complication could be the uh, failure to achieve the desired result if we have the failed uh, uh, desired result then this could be operator based faults and this could be the patient rated factor if the appliance is breaking again and again if the patient is not cooperating and there is an ex unexpected growth that this could be the patient rated factor and this could be some operator related factors as well, in which there is a problem in error in diagnosis treatment planning anchorage loss very common uh, problem for example you have started a treatment with some let's say like 8 mm overjet and if you have anchorage loss you would not be able to completely correct the overjet the very common uh, situation to failure to achieve the cost to force relationship the failure to achieve and to maintain the proper anchorage the improper technique poor communication is a very common thing that we see in our practices and in adequate experience uh, these are the possible issues for orthodontic treatment the patient is coming to you and what you will be explaining different kind of the problem we always speak about the relapse we always speak about the root resorption we speak about the demineralization because we need a cooperative patient for the orthodontic treatment this treatment is not for everyone this treatment is not for everyone you have to have internally motivated patient you cannot start treatment for the patient coming to your practice and the mother is dragging the patient to your office you have to have a cooperative patient because what i say to my in my private practice to patient like 50% of the treatment will be done by the patient and the by the patient and by the parents they have to bring the child to the office their child has to maintain the good oral hygiene if if they are not cooperative and are motivated you will always be end up with some demineralization or uncontrolled mechanics because of the missed appointment uh, if the, if you have asked the patient to come to uh, you after one month if they are coming to you after three months obviously you will not be able to develop a very nice command on the biomechanics so definitely you would be you would be failed to achieve the desired results so these are the risk of orthodontic treatment that you should be telling to your patient before the commencement of orthodontic treatment because if they would not be cooperating in terms of the all the instructions given to them there would be some possible uh, complications by this orthodontic treatment in this lecture we spoke about different benefits of orthodontic treatment and we have spoke about different risk of orthodontic treatment that should be to the patient so uh, uh, a patient coming to you let's say let's i give you an example 
a patient coming to you can i stop the recording